Walking Dead Season 7 has officially ended. And what can I say, everybody? My name's Jalise. Welcome to the JJ Movie Tees with Shash Games, everybody. The Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 16, the first day for the rest of your life. Of the rest of your life. What can I say about it? My God, a pretty dang great finale for a season. Here's the thing, everybody. This entire season started off like a depressing-ass uh, Holocaust film. This was like Schindler's List for me and like Pursuit of Happiness for me of this season. It was so dang depressing since the first episode and it ultimately led to something uh, beautiful at the end. And that's like the Pursuit of Happiness movie. I mean, you see these characters struggle so, so, so much against Negan and, this, uh, against Negan and the Saviors. And what happens? Rick and the group. They prevail. They don't necessarily be Negan, but there's a hope, and the war is on. The war is officially on. And now, during this entire time, we see that Dwight is gonna now work for uh, for um both uh is gonna work for uh, um Rick and his Alexandria, the kingdom. He's gonna lead again. He's gonna help against them against the resistance against Negan and the Saviors. Dwight's gonna help him, so that's good. Um, Negan. Was gonna kill uh, Negan. Was uh, made a deal with Sasha to basically uh, Sasha. Only one person has to die over here. He already knows what's happening. He already knows what's happening. So if there was a spy. I know who the spies were. The scavenger. The scavengers uh, decide to work for Negan. And they had made a better offer. So now they're screwed. Rick and this group, they're completely screwed. And what we see is just like Jaden. This character, right? God shot Rick Grimes in the side. Uh, one other character was being the shit out of Michonne. Oh my God! It looked like it was gonna be a slaughterhouse for our characters. You can look like who's gonna prevail. Ultimately, he, he put Sasha inside a coffin. Yes, a coffin. And he gave her like headphones. And during that time, it's, it's like she will only come out. Uh, she uh, she comes out when you agree that there will be no more of this shit. And Rick's like, let me see her. And during that time, we get a lot of flashbacks in the beginning of this episode of flashbacks of both Sasha and with Abraham before they went to go with um, uh, Maggie to the hilltop in order for her to, in order for her to be okay with the baby. And, to, and that entire scene just was before that entire arc where um, they got surrounded by the saviors and both Glenn and Abraham died. And ultimately, her last thoughts were just her listening to headphones while drinking the suicide pill that Eugene gave her. And... She has hope for Eugene to come back to the group. And she takes the pill and, and Negan opens the dang coffin. Out comes a zombified Sasha. May she rest in peace. One of my favorite characters of season 4. And for her to come out. I mean not season 4 but my fourth favorite character of the female characters. And the fact that she came out as a zombie trying to go after Negan. And Negan's like what the shit. Brought, uh, bought and, and Rick and his group enough time to just really... Uh, uh, shoot a lot of the scavengers and to uh, have a fighting chance but then again they're captured and Carl's on his knees and Rick's on his knees then Negan says I'm gonna kill your son in front of you and Rick's like do it like break my hand do everything you gotta do but nothing's gonna change the fact that I'm still gonna come and kill you Not maybe not today maybe not tomorrow but I'm gonna kill you and the entire look of Negan's face when he's looking at Rick just priceless. He looks like unbelievable. This motherfucking shit. Then he just smiles. He's like, well, he said I could do it. And out of nowhere, Shiva the tiger. Oh my god. The tiger comes and just scares the shit out of Negan. They see Maggie's like, the pregnant lady's alive. All right, I mean, oh my god. It was just absolutely so effing hilarious. And Negan just said, uh, game's all scared and shit. And then Alexandria, the, the kingdom, and the hilltop uniting take down Negan and his group. Negan escapes with Simon and he, but when they're still shooting at him, he's just flipping them off and just along the way, <laughs> Negan's just a funny ass character. Sasha is dead. Eugene's under suspicions by Negan and um, and they were willing to blow up Eugene too with the detonating thing, but oh my god, what a tragic tragic way. I mean this was completely tragic at the beginning we thought like, there's hope and when the scavengers betrayed Freaking um, Rick and the group. I was like, oh, this is no good. And I saw Rick fighting with them, and then Rick, Carl, they were fighting, and then all of a sudden, hey, Rick and Carl are on their knees, and then I'm like, no, not this again. And then it's just a 
it, this episode played with my emotions so dang much. I was going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I'm like, please stop this. But at the end, we see that Negan says we're going to war. Rick of Alexandria with Maggie of the Hilltop and Ezekiel, King Ezekiel of the Kingdom. They're united, and ultimately we get a great monologue of Maggie, how it, it, how this all started. when The day when Glenn saved Rick, that's how it all started. At, when Glenn, at the beginning of Season 1, Episode 2 of Guts, he saved Rick Grimes. And because of that, a friendship blossomed. It started with them, and then it grew more to the Maggie's farm, to the prison, uh, to them on the road, to Alexandria, and now to this moment. And ultimately, they're doing it this for the future of every day. They're doing this for the future of the next uh, generation. And the last part of Maggie holding uh, her father's watch, also Glenn's watch, and saying, I did, I, I did, Glenn started this. I was just following his lead. And that's the ultimate send off to not only Abraham, Sasha, and Glenn, ultimately was the Beatles send off and the things of something more to come, which is the war. Which will be in season eight, which will probably be a better season than season seven. But overall, compared to a season that had a lot of depressing moments that we were going through, a lot of bullshit uh, writing in some cases, probably a great fucking finale. So yeah, everyone, the Walking Dead season seven, episode sixteen, the first day of the rest of your life was fucking fantastic. Let me know what y'all think. Subscribe if you like. Just screen down below. Leave comment down below. Let me know. Just let me know what y'all think. I want this fantastic, fantastic. Uh, a season finale of The Walking Dead. Whatever my name is, Lee, signing off for you. There, everybody. Bye bye.